Welcome to our channel. Let's embark on an electrifying journey through the most dangerous and intriguing places on our planet, places that few dare to go. Let's go. The Valley of the Kings in Egypt has been attracting visitors from all parts of the globe for several decades now, and it's no wonder. Many pharaohs, including King Tutankhamun, were buried there. However, this is not the only attraction for tourists. Some people come to the valley for the supernatural elements, specifically the so-called Curse of King Tutankhamun's Tomb. These rumors started to spread in 1922, when a group of scientists opened the tomb and strange occurrences started to happen. One of the main researchers died of pneumonia a few years later, and that was just the beginning, as the number of deaths increased to 30. Interestingly, these deceased were somehow associated with the discovery of the tomb. In reality, the curse would only be broken if all the treasure was returned to its rightful place. More than 100 years of silence characterize Mexico's so-called Silent Zone, making it one of the most enigmatic places in the world whose enigma has remained undeciphered. It is a magnet for paranormal activity, witnessed by local residents who frequently report UFO sightings. During the nights, strange lights glow in the skies, while each year a new meteorite falls in the region. The area doesn't just attract meteorites. There was an incident where a rocket launched by scientists deviated from its planned course and landed in the silent zone. The name is not by chance, as radios are silent and televisions do not receive a signal in programming. In the United States, an extremely hot place is known as Death Valley in California. Located in the Mojave Desert, this valley has witnessed a maximum atmospheric temperature of 56.7 degrees Celsius, recorded in 1913. The ground surface in Death Valley can reach an impressive 93 degrees C. Surrounded by mountains and located 86 meters below sea level, this valley acts as a gigantic bowl, absorbing the sun's rays, resulting in a truly hellish climate. Although Antarctica is cold in general, there are places that are even more intensely cold. An example is Vostok Station, considered the coldest place on the planet. Temperatures there can reach minus 15 or minus 20 degrees Celsius at most. The lowest temperature ever recorded on the planet occurred there, reaching an incredible minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in 1983. The low temperatures are accompanied by an almost complete lack of humidity, intense winds and polar nights that last a third of the year. Despite being one of the most inhospitable places in the world, scientists reside and conduct research there. It is believed that Vostok Station does not represent the limit as the East Antarctic Crater, which connects with the Dome Argus Depression, has been found to register temperatures as low as minus 94 degrees Celsius. However, this information was collected by satellites, so officially, the Vostok Station record still stands. This is the designation of one of the most unique regions on the planet, the Hezhou Valley located in China. For over 70 years, individuals disappeared without a trace. Unex visitors, in turn, enjoy the stunning view, where a dense barrier of stem plants in brown, dark green, and black hides the view of the path ahead. Bamboo grows so grandly that the horizon simply dissolves. It becomes impossible to discern the distance. In the first 12 years since its discovery, this frightening environment witnessed the disappearance of more than 200 tourists several groups of cartographers, and teams of forest guards. An air accident was also recorded, with no apparent technical defects, and the crew had no reports of problems. Some theories attribute this to highly magnetized basalt rocks, while others mention some sort of man-eating giant panda. Some speak of emissions of psychotropic substances from black bamboo, claim that the only explanation for the disappearances are aliens capable of generating fog for camouflage. Chapel of Bones, constituting one of the darkest places in Evora, Portugal. The origin of the chapel is the subject of several theories. Some claim that it was erected in the 16th century by rulers in order to remember the ephemerality of life. 
Others maintain that the residents themselves built it, since there was no more space for burials. There is even the opinion that monks were involved, insisting on the use of human bones in the building to avoid a tragedy. As for the question of how many skeletons were used in the construction, sources offer conflicting information ranging from three to 10,000. Speculation lingers about the builders and the circumstances. The City of the Dead is the largest and most enigmatic necropolis in the Caucasus, housing more than 90 tombs dating from the 14th to the 18th centuries, would never return from there. A curious legend surrounds its appearance. A long time ago, an incredibly beautiful young woman arrived in the village. She personified perfection, which drove men to go crazy and leave their wives. The women, offended, sought help from the elders, who were also influenced by the young woman. However, only women were not carried away by their beauty, considering it a curse. People banded together to eliminate the intruder, breaking the spell. However, peace was ephemeral, as the village was ravaged by a terrible and unknown disease. Even when bodies were buried, they were soon disinterred. The City of the Dead holds many enigmas, such as skeletons positioned on boats, although the area has nothing to do with shipping. One theory suggests that the barriers believed the soul needed to cross a river to reach heaven. Another peculiarity is the absence of doors in the crypts, with only small windows insufficient for a person to pass through. Skeleton Lake, also known as Hope Conde Lake, is a high-altitude lake located in the Himalayas of India. Its notoriety does not lie in its depth of just two meters. It is a glacial lake located in the mountains at an altitude of approximately five kilometers. Annually, during the thaw, this place began to attract the attention not only of biologists, but also of tourists. The reason is that every year, different objects and human skeletons are discovered although it is impossible for such remains to be there. Detailed analysis of the remains revealed that most of the bones belong to individuals who lived between the 8th and 9th centuries. However, DNA tests indicated that the remains did not just come from different neighboring tribes, but also from diverse ethnic groups that appeared at the site with strange regularity every 100 years or so. Some of these individuals belonged to Eastern land groups, which means that they could not possibly have arrived there free of virus or disease. Each year, new details emerge, altering the plot of the narrative. The road, officially designated as Route 16, is known locally as Rodovia das Lagrimas. It runs through British Columbia. The most intriguing part of the route is the 800 km stretch between the towns of Prince George and Prince Rupert, where people regularly disappear. From the late 1960s to the present, dozens of people disappeared or were killed on Estrada das Lagrimas, mainly women and girls. The road is lined with signs with photos of missing persons, whose relatives offer generous rewards for any information about the missing. However, it seems that no one ever receives these rewards. Sadly, girls are often not found or their bodies are discovered on the side of the road. According to the main investigation theory, the Road of Tears is dominated by a maniac who is responsible for all crimes. This makes sense, especially as the victims are predominantly women. After all, only a maniac would be capable of perpetrating such acts for over 50 years. However, this begs the question, could it really be the work of just one person? Or, on the other hand, is there something more involved? The driest places in the world can be found in at least two distinct locations. The first, of course, is a city in the desert, and I'm referring to Aswan in Egypt. Tropical desert cities generally have little rainfall, and Aswan excels in this regard. The city receives only 1.4 mm of rain per year. This is not daily, weekly, or monthly, but rather over the course of an entire year. The banks of the Nile River that run along the city provide enough water for its inhabitants, and although many months pass without rain, water is guaranteed. However, an even drier and surprisingly place is located in Antarctica. It's McMurdo's Dry Valley, where it hasn't rained or snowed in millions of years. Despite the dry weather, there are ice reservoirs at McMurdo, where algae thrive and bacteria survive. 
In fact, that's the only kind of life found there. Temperatures in Vale Seco reach minus 50 degrees Celsius. We have reached the end of this journey, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any news. Until the next video.